Congratulations on getting your brand new Class C motorhome and welcome to the freedom of the open road in your own RV. Now, let's talk about a couple of features and some benefits you might find on your Class C. Regardless of whether you got a 350 chassis, 450 chassis, a diesel chassis, you got the 7.8 liter engine, look, Talk to your specialist first and foremost about the proper maintenance schedule for the engine, the powertrain, the tires, the wheels of your specific RV. That's first and foremost because it is also your vehicle. Now, once you get inside your Class C, you see that little switch down at the bottom? Your Class C should have an emergency start. If it does come with one, what that does is if your coach battery is there, but the, the house battery and the car battery pretty much is how it works. The emergency start will allow you to jump start the car battery off of the house battery. So a very nice feature that comes with your Class C motorhome. And once again, you know, depending on like this one here is a 7.3 liter V8, 350 horses on this bad boy. But if you got the diesel or you got the gas, just make sure you find out the proper maintenance schedule for your motorhome, because that is going to be key to enjoying RVing for a long time to come. You're going to notice since it is a Class C, you're going to have the beautiful fiberglass with the foam insulation, the bunk over cab, the extra large mirrors. Some of them may be heated, some of them might be remote controlled, but these will come in handy when going down the road in cold conditions or not. You'll also have an awning, uh, depending on the size and the type, you'll have the LED light either underneath or you have the floodlights on the arms. Now this one happens to be the Lippert Solera uh, awning with the adjustable pitch. And if you're going to adjust the pitch, this one, you just pull down on it to adjust the pitch. Just make sure two things. Number one, if you're outside and the awning's been out for a hot minute, maybe there's moisture or water, don't stand on this side of the pitch that's coming down because that's an impromptu bath. The other thing, once you're done, be sure to adjust the pitch back up level, or if you have the bolt lock, unscrew it, get the pitch back level before you roll that awning in because the last thing you want to do is have that awning come in like this tear or cause some additional problems. You'll have a friction hinge door to help you get into the coach. You'll also have a solid grab handle. And you'll notice in most of the class C's, your coach batteries will be right here in the steps. You could have two, you could have four, but they'll be right there, easily accessible, easily switched out with a little lock. The other thing that you always want to check is your solar charger controller, which is right there. What that does is if you're already pre-wired or if you have solar panels, uh, number one, if you're trickle charging your battery, that's gonna tell you where it's at in the charge path. You know, are we at that dry state or are we, you know, getting close to full? Just make sure to keep an eye on that. Uh, you also have, most Class E's will come with a 110 inverter, which if you're plugged up at the campsite to just 110, that'll invert that power uh, or convert it, excuse me, to 12 volts. So you'll be able to run the lights you know, this, that, and the other thing. Just be careful with that. If you ever have questions or if it's not working properly, try not to do that on your own. Bring it in, let our specialists take care of it. Now your Class C motorhome could also come like this one with Rotocast storage, a beautiful feature, which is easy to clean. You'll sometimes have drain plugs. So when you get it dirty, or if you're at the beach or fishing or hunting or whatever, you got dirt and sand in there, you can just spray it out. Talk about nice, clean, and easy. Bam. You'll also have sealed safety windows all the way around your coach. Now, a lot of times on the campsites, uh, you'll find, but not exclusively on the campsite, you'll find things like the back of your fridge. If you have a gas electric fridge, the back will look like this. This is the condensation tube to make sure that water doesn't stay inside uh, the, the fridge. And if you are a uh, a, 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 if you love the way things work, if that just drives, you know, if it just really gets your gears grinding, talk to your specialist about how a gas electric fridge actually cools. It's a really neat to understand how it works. Now, if you have your furnace, you'll notice that this is the back, whether you got one exhaust or you had two Dometic or Suburban, whenever you're running it, there's gonna be hot air coming out of here. So if you have a fabric camp chair, please do not set it close to this because hot air and fabric, not a good combination. Now. You will also have uh, your hot water heater like we have right here. Um, with this, if you wanna check it out, you'll notice there's a little eye hole right here. So you can check to see if the pilot light is lit. There's also a flash tube, a pressure release valve, uh, and an anode rod on the inside. Um, when you're checking those, because propane has mercaptan in it, which bugs love, especially spiders, and bees and dirt daubers. They love building nests inside your flash tube. Just get a 
pipe cleaner and clean it out, especially if your coach has been sitting for a while. If you notice a tube like this, this is your fresh tank fill. This is where you come to put the water in. Always use a potable water hose on this one. And you notice we also have an air valve right there. So if you're filling this up and you're thinking, okay, let's see if this is a 60 gallon tank, how much water do I run for 60 gallons? Well, the fail safe is this air tube. If water starts shooting out of there and all of a sudden you're soaking wet, you've overfilled it. And that's pretty much the best way you trust me for some of these you got to go through it and experience it to really learn it but a nice fail safe for you there storage all the way around you could have anything from 50 cubic feet to over 100 cubic feet of storage now if your uh, class c does come with an external kitchen it will be somewhere near the rear of the campsite of the coach and you'll have maybe a one burner a two burner an induction burner there's many options that are great plus you'll have the uh, refrigerator as well. It could be the small mini dorm, the dorm style. Some of them even have the double door fridges, which are nice. Um, and a LP Quick Connect. So if you're going camping, you can hook up your uh, grill to that. And the LP Quick Connect would actually be located underneath the coach on most models somewhere in the area that you're looking right now. Now on the rear, you will have a bumper with a four by four sewer hose storage. Just make sure to clean that sewer hose out before you store it. You'll have the solid ladder mounted over the top. And you notice on this one, we have the backup camera mounted in the light on this one. Now the backup camera will either be a camera itself, a faceplate on the dash, or it'll be integrated in the touchscreen dash. There's many different options, but a great option there. If it's not in the light, you'll sometimes have the little camera or it'll even sometimes even be in the bumper. If you ever have any issues with that, uh, check the circuit breaker box number one. Uh, but you know, if you don't know how to fix it, don't want to try fixing it. That's what our tech centers are there for to help you do that. You'll also have a hitch on the back of your class C. It could be 5,000 pounds. It could be 8,000 pounds. It's going to vary based on if you got the gas coach, the diesel coach, the type, the whole nine, but a great option for bringing not only the toys, but an additional vehicle with you while you're on the road. One of the things that I love most about classy motorhomes is the fact that they do come with a generator in most instances. Now, this one here has the Onan 4000 watt. You might get the 4000, you might get a diesel generator, you might get a 5000. Look, they're, regardless, what they're going to do is they're going to power this coach and allow you to not only run the lights, but the AC while you're out dry docking. If anything goes wrong with your generator, I always advise people, sure, you can check to make sure everything's connected and, and running properly, but bring it in for service. Let our tech folks fix that for you because this is a toy you don't want to break yourself. You should have a black tank or a Santee flush system on your Class C motorhome. And what this is, is this is a black tank flush. So just make sure that your black tank is open before you put a water hose connection there and spray it out. And also do not use the potable water hose that you're using to connect up to the coach. Because if you don't have the black tank open when you do it and the water comes back, that's, that's a no-go at this station. Do not pass go, do not collect your $200. Right there, obviously your fuel fill, either gonna be unleaded or diesel. External shower here with hot and cold, a very nice feature. You'll notice you do have a little clip right there that you can hang the nozzle on. If you don't want to use your hands, it gives you kind of like a little small outside shower option. Spray off the kids, spray off yourself, the whole nine. This is your main power connection here, whether it's 30 amp or 50 amp. If you're lucky enough to have the indicator light here, just make sure that you're in, locked, and locked in with the screw there. If you're not getting power, check the circuit breaker at the box. If that's okay, chances are you might have a dead cord. Cable connection, city water connection right there, all convenient and easy to get to. Sometimes your connections might be in a little compartment that's locked at the bottom of the coach. That's also a nice little safety feature. You'll see here, we got one of our tanks easily accessed if something does need to happen with it. And right beside it are actually our terminations. Uh, and Bobby, I know that might be a little bit of a low shot to get, but you'll see we have the gray handle and the black handle down there. Now, when you're hooked up at the campsite, you don't always have to keep those terminations open. As a matter of fact, we, I like to advise people that, especially with the black tank, you don't 
you don't want that to go dry because pyramiding can happen. So you wanna keep some fluid in there. So just periodically open it up. If you are gonna flush everything out, do the black tank first and then the gray tank. Your Class C motorhome will also come with a propane tank. Now this is an ASME tank, uh, which is like a built-in propane tank. It could be anywhere from 20 gallons to 33 gallons to, shoot, I've seen some uh, some, some classy motorhomes have almost a hundred gallon tank in there, which is crazy. But regardless, that's where the propane is going to run your furnace as well as be the backup for your refrigerator. And, and here's the thing with a classy motorhome and with that gas electric fridge, you can run the refrigerator while driving down the roads with the propane. But that means propane will be cycling through the coach to the RV. Is that a great idea? In my opinion, no, it's not the safest, but it is an option. And it's one that you need to talk to your specialist at Camping World about, hey, is this right for me? Just common sense and use safety. So now that we've seen some of the features on the inside of your beautiful Class C motorhome, let's check out what's going on on the inside. Checking out the inside. Okay, now one of the first things I wanna point out is right here. You see how we have, this is what's known as the house, the, the coach battery or, or the main. Um, there'll be an off or an on. Sometimes you'll just have a switch with a little light. And if you're ever backing the coach up while you're driving, and for some reason you're like, oh, I can't get the dash to work or you know, the backup camera's not working. You gotta have the coach battery on for a lot of things to operate even while driving. If you want anything on when you're parked, it absolutely has to be on. But here will be your lights. You'll have awning controls, light controls, as well as uh, you know retracting and running the awning in and out with the toggle switch. Plus, a lot of times you have a GFCI outlet here. And one of the main things you're gonna look for when you come into your Class C is going to be the command panel. Now, your command panel could be something like we have here. It could be a touch screen, but regardless, they're going to all do pretty much the same thing. You're gonna have an indicator here to let you know how you are with battery, how you are with your fresh tank, your black tank, and your gray tanks. Uh, and if you ever go to set up and run out the slide and it's not going out, check the battery. If you're under two thirds power, you do not have enough juice to run that slide out. If you do have propane, this will tell you how much propane you got when you see that LPG. Now your Class C motorhome, when you have the generator, like most will, here's how you prime it and start it. In most cases, uh, especially with like this positron control panel that we have here, what you do is you push and hold this down until you see the red light. Now that means your generator is primed and you can hit the start to crank it up. Over here will be the number of hours that your generator has currently ran. You'll see slide extension. Uh, if you do have tank heaters, those controls will be right here. Your water pump for when you're boondocking, when you're set up to city water, you won't need this. And if you have the water heater, whether you got both like the gas or electric or you know just the electric or just the gas, you got those controls here. And a, a tip that works in most instances with your water heater if you're doing a lot of showers and you want to do a quick recovery, cut both of these on. It'll give you a quick recovery. Now, you got your motorhome. We got to drive it, right? Absolutely, we got to drive it. So, I love the way these feel. Now, we're going to come in here, and you'll notice on the dash, you have just like you would if you had a regular vehicle. You got your dash right there, giving you RPMs, your miles, your fuel level, your oil temperature, your water temperature, your gas level. We've been cruising on this one, so it's kind of low, as well as the uh, temperature. And the great thing about these dashes, whether it's it hard mounted into the dash or it's one of the screens that comes up and sticks out the touchscreen, when you put your vehicle in reverse, the backup camera should automatically be there for you. A great little feature that'll make things safe and easy where they're going down the campsite to pull in or you just need to see what's behind you. And that is what I call a handy to have dash. Not to mention you also have this beautiful roto molded cup holder, phone holder. You also got all types of storage and the chairs inside your class C, most of them, the captain's chairs, whether they're cloth or leather are comfortable. Some will even release and turn around and allowing you to kind of face the coach and the entertainment. Now with your bunk over cab, when you have it, depending on, once again, the type of RV that you have, you might have a television over here on its own arm. For example, in this one, this is the main entertainment for the living area as well. But if you want it to be like a little private bedroom with your own entertainment, you'll have either you know the curtains for privacy, 
Sometimes you'll have the pull shade, but this converts from storage into a bed. You'll notice how we have the netting right here. This allows you to turn it into storage. There's your ladder for easily getting up and down. Convenient, fun, and let me tell you, the kids absolutely love it. And a lot of these, uh, the capacity can be 500, even 800 pounds. So you could easily get two adults up there. You'll also find dual USB charging ports all the way around the coach. If you do have a dinette inside your coach, whether 71 or 76 inches, uh, it's going to be the dream dinette in most instances, which means there's no legs, but it does reduce down into a sleeper. There might be a safety latch to release the table to move it up and down, but you'll notice underneath the plush seats, there's a foot on both sides that the table rests on. Then the cushions just go on top and that becomes your bed. You'll also have storage underneath. A lot of your classy motorhomes will have glazed cabinetry with push button lights underneath all the way around. Uh, those are easily operated either by the switch or by the push button. Plus you'll have your entertainment. You'll have solid wood balances, decorative. You can either have the pull shades, the night shades, the roller shades, whatever. And depending on the type of RV that you have, you're either going to get a 13.5 or a 15K BTU air conditioner with the quick cool. For example, this one here is the Coleman Mach with the quick cool dumps on the front and the rear. Sometimes quick cool might be in the middle, but when you close it, it just means the AC is now ducted into the roof. And you'll notice the roofs, in most of your class C's, you get 81 to 84 inches of height on the interior. Very nice headroom, finished off ceilings, fully walkable roofs. But if you ever have any issues with the AC, a few things to check. Number one, make sure that the coach battery's on. Make sure that you are hooked up to shore power or the generator is running. If both of those are good to go, you know, the power post is flipped, the breaker's not tripped, you're getting full power, but you're still not getting AC, you can check your circuit panel right here. Now you'd notice that these breakers right here, what's great about them is if one of them is faulty, there'll be a red light in the middle indicating that it needs to be switched. A very nice little fail safe to have. And most class C's will even come with the window, so you don't even have to open it up to see if one of them has failed. Now, if you have a uh, gas electric fridge, or if you have a 12 volt fridge or even a residential fridge, um, which uh, you may, you could possibly have inside a Class C, uh, with your gas electric fridges, and once again, what, depending on what type of fridge you have, there are videos explaining how to operate and some troubleshooting tips. Uh, with this one, you'll see the on off switch. This also has uh, the automatic switch on it. So when you go from electric to gas to keep things cool, uh, this will automatically switch for you when you have that selected. And the way that the gas electric fridge is cool is this is your cooling component right here. Do not block this because this is what cools the refrigerator down. You'll notice your indicator here. It's, it's a real easy to break, so just be careful with this one. Uh, and the thing about gas electric fridges, they keep things cold they don't get them cold. So keep that in mind. It's always good to put cold things in it, especially before you travel. If you put a hot can of orange juice in there, it's probably not going to get as cold as you want. But you'll get pressed surface or solid surface countertops inside your classy motorhomes, stainless steel undermounted style sinks or even farmhouse sinks, high rise faucets with sprayers. A lot of times you'll even have extendable cutting surfaces and flush mounted three burner cooktops with glass covers. Now, if you do have the three burner cooktop, the front burner is usually going to be um, high output. So if you need to get something boiling faster or if you're in high altitudes, that comes in handy. The controls can be backlit and you'll notice usually like on this Furion, the igniter is the farthest left switch and you'll notice the arrow is pointing this way. That's because you can only turn this one way and you'll see I have my spark there. Now, if you want to light these, you push in and you turn to the switch right there because that means we're going to be hopefully lighting. And if you had propane and it was running, then you would get that lit. Same thing with the oven here. You just turn that, make sure it's open, and then push to light your oven. Um, if you know you got propane and you know it's running, it's open, then you're still not getting this lit. You can lift up this front panel and on one of the corners is a connector switch for the igniter. Sometimes in travel, those do come deep, you know, disconnected. You can reconnect it there. Uh, if that still doesn't work for you, bring it in. Let our folks take a look at it. You'll get microwaves. You'll get all types of stuff, entertainment switch boxes like you see up here. 
you might be lucky enough to have a multi-source connector inside your RV. Uh, you know, your, your Class C is going to come with so many options, uh, pre-wire for Wi-Fi, 4G LTE. Some of them even have routers already built in. Lots of ways to keep you connected while on the road. Now, and I'll tell you what, Bobby, why don't you go ahead and go buy me for the bathroom and the bedroom, since we're a little tight in here. Privacy door. Very nice little feature. Now, inside your bathroom, pretty standard. You got the shower with the skylight. Once again, high ceiling, so you're going to have good headroom. You should also have uh, a fan and a vent right here to help get not only the hot air out, but the moisture out as well. You'll have a porcelain bowl with the foot flush, like we have here on this one. Uh, and the way that works is, you know, you push the foot flush just a little bit. That'll put water into the bowl. Push it all the way down. It opens it up. If you ever notice that it's draining uh, while it's closed, that flapper seal, you can just take some Vaseline, rub it around the bottom seal. And that'll help keep it uh, connected and not draining. A lot of times you'll have your hot and cold sink option here, stainless steel, mirrored medicine cabinet. And then for your bedroom, Go ahead on back there, Bobby. Depending on, once again, the type of model that you have uh, will depend on if you have queen size bed, if you got one that's in a slide, or if you got one like this one with the like double bunks that also converts into almost, you know, it's bigger than king size. Uh, just great entertainment and sleeping options. A lot of times you'll have uh, TV back there as well. You'll even have TV on the outside sometimes for outside entertainment with a sound bar. It's just your way of hitting the road safely and securely. But with anything, if you ever have any issues with your Class C motorhomes, because what you've done is you combine your home with your automobile, and you know that there are things that can happen with both. If you're not comfortable fixing or even checking some of these things, that's why we have over 185 locations nationwide for you to bring your RV in to get it checked. You're never too far away from a camping world when, especially when we want to make sure that your camping experience is the best that it can be. Hopefully this video gave you a few tips and some tricks on keeping that classy motorhome going during camping season. Enjoy it. It's one of my favorite types of RVs. Thank you so much for watching. And please, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call us or come visit your local camping world to figure out how we can make that RV experience the best it can be for you.